Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. We got quite a scare last episode. I thought I'd really messed up, and to be honest, I did in part. We have to go and talk to Leander on the right hand side, as you can see there, and talk about improving our ship. Now, to do that, we had to upgrade our kingdom to level 2. But I'd spent all my King's Guilders and stuff, and we had we were broke in terms of kingdom building, so I didn't know what to do. Uh, thankfully, we have done a side quest and got the materials we needed, and we managed to just come in with the clutch at the end. So if you look now, and uh, manage your kingdom, look at all this new plots, new plots of land. You can build a symphonium, um, a dimensional lab, what the hell? And we can use a lumberyard, I mean, you get the idea. Tons of new stuff to build upon, and also allocate some new citizens. Now, the thing is, we have to, I think we have to, where is it? Oh, there was something here, like a shipyard, that's the training ground. Well, anyway, there's something here that does say build a shipyard. Now, I think we're going to need more coffers for that. And I don't think we have it yet, but I will speak to Leander and see what he thinks about all this. Um, if we don't have the required materials, the only way I'm going to be able to do it is just go AFK for a bit. Seeing, well, depending on how much we're short. Because we've got about 2,000, which is, I reckon it's going to be about 3,000. Or five, actually. No. In order to enable our ships to jump, we will first need to build a shipyard. I would advise that you do so right away. Okay, so yeah, there he goes. He wants to build a shipyard. So that means we go straight back out here and find where the shipyard plot is. Let me have a think. I mean, the coffers do grow quite quickly. We've got like a thousand already. A fresh fish market, no thank you. Ah, and there we go. A ship shape shipyard. A research ways to build better boats. And you need 3,800. So we got... Wait, do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough influence. But we are sort of 1,800 short on the uh, on the King's Guild front. So, and where, well, how much do we have now? Yeah, so we need to wait a bit, don't we? <laughs> Crap. Hey, that's it. We got enough. 1800. That wasn't so bad. It only took about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. I just counted how many Dr. Peppers I've drunk this week. It was about 15, I think. But we've got enough coffers here to build the shipyard, so we'll take that. Huh. The Tardis efforts, yeah, 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 that's fine. We don't care about them. We just want their money. That gives us 3,874, so we've even got an excess of 74. So maybe we'll, we'll let someone treat themselves. I don't know. Manage our kingdom. Make sure we build the right thing after waiting all that time. Now, yeah, the ship shaped shipyard. This better be it. I'm assuming it is. Uh, yes, please take all our money and all our influence. Good. Oh, wait, no, it gives us influence, doesn't it? It doesn't spend it. Anyway. This should be it, yeah? Now, we need to put some personnel in there, don't we? Now, Ketch would be the most suitable. Yeah, put him in there. Where's he in at the moment? I don't know where he is at the moment, but I don't care. Get in there, Ketch. Anyone else suitable? No, I don't think so. I mean, we're lacking on citizens. I need to find some more. Can we research anything? Oh, you know what's going to happen next? We're going to need... Um, we're going to need to research one of these things. Alright, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We've got 163 coffers already. Let's go back into the throne room and hope that we're not going to be gated by some other requirement to do to move on to the next stage. I really hope not, because there's not a, a lot of side quests we can do right now either. Okay, Leander, I hope that's uh, what you wanted. Well, It seems we have all that we need. Then, let's have Ketch begin his research into how our ships can be made to jump. Hey there! All set, Your Majesty. Ketch, why are you not wearing trousers again? Didn't we go over this? Did we come to some agreement that you could just flaunt your ass in the kingdom? I mean, I, I guess we did. I mean, who are we to tell Ketch? He's been uh, around a lot longer than us, respect your elders and their assholes. That Leander showed us what needed doing and we went and did it quick as you like. You'll be leaping around the ocean like Billy O in that thing now. Who the hell's Billy O? Thank you. Thank you so much, Ketch. Now we can get to Broadleaf. Your ship has been modified. You can now jump the great rift in the ocean. Just sail up to the right spot displayed in this picture and you'll fly over automatically. Okay. It's interesting because it might be what we need to get us to the... Um, the door for the maze that I couldn't get to last time. Alright, everything's looking ship shape. Shall we get going? Before we set sail, just what kind of country is this Broadleaf, eh? I've never ventured as far as old Ortomina, Orto uh, Ortomia, there. It is a kingdom founded on a mysterious art known as science. Wait, what were you on about? Mysterious art? Science? What? Huh? 
Science. You guys don't know what science is. It is a means of manipulating the powers of nature, like magic, but unlike it. Say. It's ruled by President Zip Vector, right? The inventor. He's some kind of genius, apparently. Thanks to his ingenuity, what began as a small business has grown into a great industrial nation almost overnight. Alas, it seems that things have not been going so well for him of late. There are reports of political unrest and of disconnect among the populace. Mm. Another kingdom with problems. Mm. Something tells me we're about to walk into another fine mess. Oh, come on! Oh, stop being so miserable. Let's get going, shall we? I, for one, can't wait to see the place. Sweet. Let's get out of here. Head for Broadleaf indeed. Oh, I should really save there. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was going to say what's the worst that could happen, but I'll be going against one of my lifelong mottos, save to be safe. Let's do this. Who knows what could happen. I could have a power cut. We cut this short. I'm going to have to wait around for the guilders to come back again. Okay, so... I mean, just out of interest, how many guilders do you think we've accumulated in that short cutscene? I reckon we got a thousand. 680, yeah, 680 is pretty crap. But how about if some of these might not cost a lot? Because if we can do this Symphonian, then surely that uh, Nereus can go here. Need 8,000? Get out of here. A Dimensional Lab, 4,000? Okay, so none of these are cheap, are they? Nope, fine, I get the picture. Take me out. Um, so the only thing, I was looking at the map, and them circles, if, are they the only points you can jump, or can you jump along the whole crevice of the crack? Because if you can, if you can jump across the whole edge, then I think I know how to get to the uh, the door for the next dream fragment piece. I hope I do anyway. So I think what I'll do first of all is actually quick travel over to... Where was it? Oh man. Okay, I think it was the... No, it was here. Shipshire Cape. Yeah, okay. It's definitely that. I mean, what I should really do to make this easier is put it as my active quest, and then there won't be any wandering. So, let's do that first of all. And it's top marks for trying. A really pretentious, uh, pretentious name that's winding me up, actually. It makes me want to beat the quest. Now, our ship should be docked right around this edge. That Manticore ain't going to do anything. He knows better. I mean, we're like level 36, 37. I ain't got time for him. Oh, crap. The, ship, the ship's not there. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> it just popped in. Wait, does it look different to you? I don't really know if it does or not. But it seems like the shipyard had some decent things to invest in to improve this ship. Right, so we're going to have to go all the way around. Ah, oh, look, we've got three markers on our map now, which must mean three places of where we can jump. Now, if I show you what I'm thinking... We jump over the crack there and then go round past the Labord Isle, and we can get to this uh, cozy cove. I mean, it's as good as theory as ever, right? Let's just hope we can jump anywhere from here. Nope, we can't. All right, let's uh, don't write us off just yet, because if we can just get on the other side, we can swim around the other side of the islands. I don't want to fight the goo just now. What's my map saying? All the way over there you want me to go? Jesus. Would it be quicker for me to just... Go to Hyd... Oh, nah. It would be quicker maybe to quick travel to Hydropolis, but we are clearing the map as well by doing this. So we're trying to see the benefit in everything. So them two rocks, which is the jump-off point, isn't it? I think when we get to the other side, maybe I'll fight some things, I'm not sure. I don't want to become under-leveled. Oh, I'll take this, because we do need some um, oceanic materials. For side quests. It's always these high tide shells. We need like the the uh, the octopuses and stuff like that. Yeah, that's some silly silly shells. Right, so we use the gust of wind to get across, do we? Oh, a Wrigley eel. Is that something we need? It might be. Blimey. It's a comfy coral. Oh yeah, and also we did just jump in the boat, which is pretty awesome. We head back down this way. Briar coral, not what we need though. Sorry, Delphine. Delphine? Delphine? We've got a dreamer's maze to get. And there's only four more if we manage to do this one. Let's see why not. I can't think of any more obstacles that's going to stop us. 
Wow, that's a level 45 stellar jelly. No way. It will leave you alone. Oh man, I've just had a fall. What if all the enemies in the in the frag in the dreamers maze are super tough because we're not meant to go there yet? Cran. That's 38. I can't remember what level we are. This is good though. We're on the right side. Is it worth going on there to fight him? I don't think so. Ah, oh, right. There's a super. Oh wait. I just thought we got a cutty fish. I think we need that. Um. Uh, yeah. There's just a super strong enemy on there. I get incredibly distracted on these high seas. Okay. As long as we can dock, we'll be alright. Oh, it's gone very dark. We're around the back of the calm lands here. Just gotta grab this stuff. That goop is chasing us. Oh, my voice is disappearing. Oh, shit. Oh, can I not dock anywhere here? No. Oh, no, oh, no. So we need to get to the top of there. And it might not be possible again. Crap. Okay, just leave me to it. I'm gonna try and find a way around. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit of an idiot. I uh, I rode or sailed right past it. It's in this little cranny here. So yeah, if I'd been more observant, I wouldn't have had to just swim around the whole of this landmass. But it's okay because I can you know, breathe a deep sigh of relief. We've made it. We'll get the trip door. Oh, can we go in there as well? I think that's where we have to go. Yeah, okay. Sweet. So I don't care about any of this other place now. We just need to get into this cave. Tidewash cave. And there should be a door in here, with any luck. I hope and I pray. Please show me a dream door. Is it in here? Yes, it is. Cool. It looks like there's some bozos to fight. But what level are they? 31, 29? That's all right. I think. Yeah, look, in their arse. We'll probably come out of this whole thing around level 37, maybe? At least? Oh, they hit kind of hard. Okay, who we got? Holy goo, causing a mess. Good stuff, guys. To come down, but we're not even at the door yet, though. Let's take all this bit and knock open the chest. Now, last door we done, I got super distracted and got stuck in that boss fight for about 10 minutes. I had to leave. Oh, a pair of improving rackish boots. Okay. Let's give that a go. So this time, I'm just going to go straight, um, head straight for the last floor. No messing around. Okay, the boots are no good, but they would be better for Leander. So there you go. Take off your silk slippers, dude. You need something more durable for this kind of activity. There's more enemies. All right, that's all right. We can wet our blade before we get into the, the main part of this. We have to go around this bend anyway. So I thought we'd use a special move on you. But he was already dead. But we got to make the use of it. That was better. Thank you, Higgledy, for whatever you did there. The shield. Ah, oh, there's our door. Beautiful. Is there a save point in here? Oh, yeah. That was the save point I saw. And there's our door right next to it. Okay. So, save here. And that'll give us full health, as we well as we know well by now. I'm just happy I found it. It was bothering me just being stuck on our map like that. I may even spend... If we're able to get to the next one straight away, that's probably what I'll spend the next few episodes doing. I'm sorry if you find this um, side quest a little bit boring, but I just kind of want it done. Especially if we can just make a beeline to the end. We know we know what's in store now. I did I did forget because between we done the first three relatively quickly, but that was ages ago. Okay, let's go. The experience of a lifetime, what does that mean? Uh, where shall I go? We'll fight anything that we run into, but we won't go out of our way looking for fights. Yes, level up. Always good. Get the little pink orbs as well. Because we can use that to lower the uh, the danger levels. Oh, he's quite tough, this dude. He's a warlord. No match. Oh, there's more. Come on, Clanger. Oh, god, you as well. 
I don't appreciate enemies farting around corners like that. Um, now do I think it's that way? Honestly, I don't. We're going to go up here again. Danger level 30% already. Crap. Please let it be this way. Break the pots because sometimes you get some of the orbs in there, but not that time. Typical. Is there a door? Please. Um, there's a chest, but a chest is no good here. I'm not even going to waste time with the chest. I just want to find the door. Crap. Come here then. He's three level higher than us, that dude. If he gets to danger level two, you're going to be looking at probably 45 or something. Which cannot happen. But a dead end. Ah, crap. The trick is, you need to just get to the, at least on the first floor, get to your second door immediately. I think, anyway. Should I open the chest? Because it looks like it's going to get to level two. Regardless. Unless it's just down here. Quick, Evan. What is that? Three jars of babbling wonder water, okay. Ah, oh, is this good? Maybe not. Uh... Can't shake it once you've got it in my mind. I want to eat something, can't think of anything else. Um, om nom omelets? You got 20 orbs. Yes, have we got it? Thanks. Sweet, thank God we had this. We've got 20 orbs. There's loads of pots there. I mean, should we try and be clever and break them all? How many orbs do we get for this? We're getting loads of health orbs, but we are at full health. Crap, I can't believe we went the wrong way. It's so annoying. It's not like Evan moves particularly quickly. Sure, he looks like he's got a spring in his step, but he's, he's slow. So let me try and think of where we are now. I need to head back down the spiral. And maybe follow it round. Guess so, but there's definitely more enemies on the way. Uh, where's that spiral? Here, this is it. We're in it now. Okay, so we went that way. And where did we come from originally? We came from there, didn't we? Danger level two. Oh crap! Right, don't sweat it. Nothing to worry about. Apart from the tougher enemies and the increased chance of death. It's gone straight up to. Level 40 for these dudes. That's a dead end as well. Oh man, we've been completely bamboozled on this first floor. See you later guys, you can fight. I'm going to run off. Let me go, let me go. Let's catch our breath. Yes, okay. We can't catch our breath. We've got a maze to escape. So, that means we need to go around here. Where we started. God, I'm so confused on the first damn floor. I'm so confused. Okay, thank you for that. An angel's tear. I mean, that's pretty good. That will uh, that will make us. Uh, that revives us, I think. Oh my God, we killed one clanger, and these things come out of the woodwork. Come on, I'm gonna use the higgledy. So. If you want to try and think positives, we have a lot of pink orbs. Probably enough to lower a few levels. When and if the time comes. Not around there. Keep pushing forward then. We've got to cut a mystery meat again. And all the fearless fur. All stuff we've seen a million times over. And there's... No, that's not our door, is it? But that will lower it. I think. Oh, there's our door. Yes. Make an offering. That's good. And I think the next one is 10. Or it might be 15. Of course, we can still afford that. And I'll open the chest because we know that the danger level stops when you're opening the chest, so we'll get some free equipment. Nice, whatever that is. Smart string. Alright, I'm feeling good. Go, go, go. One floor down, six or seven to go, maybe? But there was a point in the last one when the doors just kept appearing after another. Oh no, you can go that way. No, that's a dead end, I think. No special features here, alright. I'll be the judge of that. I'll do my best. Make sure your best is good enough, Evan. Crap. That was a hot fireball. 
And uh, hopefully that did some damage if we did even hit anyone. Oh my god, what is doing that? Is it the Pranger? Come here, Pranger. Two of you. That's where the problem's coming from. Let's do that. Oh my god, it keeps getting them hits in and knocking us back. Okay, now I'm going to attempt, I'm just hope it's up here. Do I just keep running? Maybe I should just keep running. Yeah, this is the dead end. Okay. Why waste time on these dudes? It's not going to get us anywhere. If we can get out of here before it's level 2, I'll be so amazed. Fall back. Oh, I can't have lost my bearings already. Oh, frames don't do that. So we have to head up. Oh, get oh there's the door. Sweet. Open that, get out of here. Still level one, this is good. And we got some cotton candy. Cloud haze cotton, yeah. All right, not so bad. It seems the door can just pop up in the most unlikely of places, so we need to keep a keen eye out for nooks and crannies. That's a dead end. Oh no, we could go that way. Crap. Oh, oh my God, what are you doing? What are you doing? that rock? Wait, can you reset the danger level before you? will have to take all your orbs if I do. No, no, no. Leave it for now. <laughs> Not that desperate yet. See you later. Is it this way? No, it's not. It's not wasting my time. Stony labyrinth of death. It's kind of a grim that he's stuck in that wall. Another dead end? Shit. At least we've got some health back. So I must have to go right back to where we started. And we're definitely going to hit danger level 2 here. Okay, this must be the right way. Where's them statues at? I want to lower my danger level with a statue. We've got 52 orbs. Surely should like that. Again, I've made the choice to go up rather than down. Might leave the chest for now. Also leave all the enemies. This has got to be the right way. Look at this. If it's not, my god, I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah, escape, escape. I can't remember, is there any penalties to escaping fights all the time? Rather than, like, losing uh, experience. Shall we? Is it a dead end? Of course it is. I can't believe it. Yeah, let's kill him out of frustration. Okay, that was sometimes quicker. Okay, so it seems every time I guess at a fork in the road, we're definitely wrong. So next time I'm not going up. But of course, if I try and call a game's bluff like that, then you would have had to have gone up. So I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, thank God we can jump down there. Let me take you then. Venom be gone. I suppose it's handy. I can jump down even further. Do you see the door anywhere? Oh, God. Maybe we'll have to go down that hole eventually. I'm super lost in this one. I don't know where I am. Oh, I thought I saw the door, but no, it's just a glisten of an item. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna take you out. Yes, I saw the door. Oh, thank God we did not go down. Imagine if we went down. We're gonna have to fight these guys, I think, because they're so close to the exit. Oh my god, I can't... I can't take him out. Uh, Evan, I need you to... Uh... Oh no, we got no things? Have we got no things? <laughs> no healing items? Shit, I did not prepare. It arrives, oh, there's a little HP. Oh no. Physical defense improved then. Crap. Get off me. Okay, he's dead. Oh, fuck me, Ronan. What were you doing there? You useless twat. I'm actually annoyed at that because Ronan, if he got involved in the fight, could have kept Evan alive. Oh, what's going on? Oh, were they fighting other enemies? Maybe that's what's happened here. Where's fucking Leander? Kissing a wall? What are you doing, dude? Take all of that. 
Springer, get out of there. Right. We're Evan again. We get through here. Oh, God, it's going to go to level 3 soon as well. We're going to need some way to lower it. We're going to need one of them statues. Best way to go. Floor of respite. What does that mean? Oh, there's the door straight away. Yes, it's not moving. Oh, and there's a statue to lower it. Okay, sweet. Definitely what we need. And right now. Ten orbs. Yes, of course. We've got so many orbs. Can you do it again? No, you can't. Can it go to zero? Next floor, please. So I'm not going to fight any enemies until we find the door. It's just going to waste too much time. Oh, crap. Five. It wouldn't be back the way, would it? Surely not. We try and call the game's bluff. Is that, Oh, my God. It was. Yes. Huge payoff. All right. We skip level five. And what about this one? You can go behind again. Oh, we've got to give it a go. It worked so well last time. I think we're looking at dead ends, though. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Worth checking it. I'd like to leave this battle and never return. Let's catch our breath. Okay, so... Oh, another one of them things. Sweet. Dripping the doors that way? I mean, it's only at 23%, so surely you keep going, and then if we have to come back, because we've gone the wrong way, then come we use on. it? Oh, actually, no, I will kill these, and we did go the wrong way. Okay. So maybe I will lower again. What's it going to be on? It's going to be close to 40% by the time we get to her. I think she's going to want 30 pink orbs. Oh, man, I don't know if it's a waste or not. But I mean, as soon as we get to level 2, danger level 2, I'm going to be like, oh my god, I can't do this. So yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there we go, 30 orbs. But this is the last time we can do it. So remember that. I don't want the goo to fight me. There's the door, sweet. Come on. Alright, we'll fight these guys then. Otherwise we won't be able to leave the door. Come on, come on. Feel free to give me some health as well, Kimon, because Evan is lacking. We have no health items, of course. Die, die. Yes, health items. Sweet. Is that all of them? Come on, Roland. Right, through the door. Is that the, is, hopefully this could be the last one. Is that too much to ask? You never know. Monstrously, uh, monstrously overcrowded. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's bad. Don't need me to tell you that. Oh! Careful, everyone. The door could be this way, though. No, that's a dead end. Is it? There's the door! Get out of here! Leave our friends to it. <laughs> More like cannon fodder. Go, go, go. Let's catch our breath. Can I get straight into this? Right, you do have to fight them first. Right, now we know. Look at that. We fucked them up big time. Yes. Okay. Good. Something terrifying behind the door. Yes, it's the last one. Perfect. Get me out. I'm done here. Whew, it is actually really, really tricky trying to manage um, the danger levels, your health and all that sort of stuff on the final floor, so we just need to find the monster before it gets to danger level 2, really. Let's hope we can do that. Oh, there it is. Yes. I mean, it's fucking hideous. Like a dust bunny. Jelly Queen. Okay, level 24 Jelly Queen. I really hope we can just kick this thing's ass. I think making good use of our Higgledies is the way to do this. Leave me alone. Oh 
god, I've got nothing to power up. Oh yeah, none of my swords are 100%. We don't have to worry about the danger level, sweet. I think I uh, did pick up on that last time, but of course I obviously forgot. There we go, lay it flat on its ass. Get over to them Higgledies, because that's a good one to have. Yeah, there we go. Wait, where did it go? <laughs> oh, it's right there. Bit of a headache, I think. Oh, are you powering up? Don't you dare power up. Sweet. I think we... Yeah, we knocked it out before it could power up. And then the cannons from the Higgledies should help us lay this beast to rest. Come on, come on. So close to death. And, Ro and Evan's not even going to die. It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I really love them slow motions. Ah, oh, yes. Spiky bone. Brilliant. And we got the orange dream fragment. Amazing. Didn't hit level 38, but it's okay. I'm happy that we got it. That's another one done. Only four more of them horrible events to do. <laughs> I really don't like them. But we're too invested now. Yes, get me out of here. You should be proud of yourself, Evan. Maybe not so much Roland and Leander. I don't think you helped. We completed all the floors of the Tired Wash Cave. Yes. Alright, and with that valiant, valiant accomplishment, I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this episode of Nino Kuni 2, please go ahead and leave a like. It does help me out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you for doing that for me. And if you want to see more, we'll go over to... Um, actually, let's have a look. Where is the next one? Ah, it's in Broadleaf. So we can maybe hit two birds with one stone. Uh, we'll go and try to do the next one after we introduce ourselves to the people of Broadleaf. Please go ahead and subscribe and I can bring it to you. If you've got any questions you want to raise, what do you think of them? Have you got any tips for me at all? Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you!